As we pass the halfway point of summer, we say goodbye to the cows as they are moved to pastures further north. And while I won't miss the 5 a.m. wake-up calls, I will miss having them around. There's a sense of emptiness when they're gone, and I look forward to their return this winter. In this episode, we install solar on the barn to help power the ranch. A little over a year ago, we found a company giving away free solar panels they were getting rid of. So Reg and I drove the six hour round trip to pick them up. The most surprising part is we only broke a couple of them in transit. Since we've never installed solar before, my brother Josh, a solar professional, flew in from the East Coast and gave us a hand. After picking him up from the airport, we drove to the ranch to tackle the three-day project. The plan for day one was to install the footings and rails the solar panels will sit on. We rented a scissor lift that Reg delivered for us. This made the job much easier and safer than trying to haul solar panels up a 20-foot ladder. Plus, it's always fun to play with a new toy. Here's Josh to explain this part of the process. All right, so I've already popped this shingle up to make sure there's enough room for the flashing to slide under this shingle, and it's going to be under this one as well to ensure no water gets in. I've already mapped it out. We know where our rafters are, so we're going to go ahead and hit here. Simple way to do it, just like you're tapping it in, like, like you're going to hang a picture, just use a hammer so you can hear that good thud. Nailed it. Dust like that, no, it's a good sign you hit it. And then I always uh, blow it off. You always want to clean out the hole. Take it back here flashing. We always do an upside down horseshoe to make sure, again, it's waterproof. So just fill that up. No such thing as perfect on here. You just really don't want to fill in that bottom half in case water does get in. You don't want to trap that in there. Lift up the shingle. Slide it in. So you're gonna line it up with your pilot hole and a red chalk line we already snapped. That ensures all of your L feet are perfectly in line and your rail straight. Take your lag, take your L foot, go ahead, drive it in. This washer on the bottom half of this lag is what's gonna ensure water doesn't come in from this side. So we're just gonna pull it a little bit more. You see that? washer starting to engage and that's what's holding it in tight. So that's how we know we're good. got one more one more rail to run tomorrow just run out of daylight but it's all done we started prepping the wire the night before to get a jump on day two which was all about wiring and running conduit The only problem we ran into was the system we are using requires more wiring than typical systems, something we'll take into account for our future solar projects. 
Josh worked on the roof while I pulled the wire in the attic. Given the 90 degree heat, it's safe to say both jobs were equally hot and miserable. The last time I bored through this container, I got sprayed with metal shavings. So this time I wore more clothing and protective gear. My cousin from Florida was visiting and helped mount the conduit, which was a big help. and final day of the project. We got some much needed reinforcements from our friend Justin and my cousin Taylor. We would have never finished if we had to carry those up a ladder. show off. Mounting the panels was relatively easy. A couple of bolt down clamps on each to secure them to the rails. And with the flick of a switch, free power from the sun. It felt good to be back out here completing projects. And once again, it was only successful thanks to family and friends volunteering their time. Next time at the ranch, we print out forms and paperwork to deliver to the county. And Reg plans out our bathroom and shower complex. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>